So today we're going to be making this delicious strawberry mint smoothie. Now one thing I love about eating raw smoothies is the fact that I know that in every smoothie they're full of nutrients and just full of vitamins and just nutrients and plus they taste amazing. This smoothie is going to have two cups of strawberries and let's talk a little bit about the benefits of the strawberries. Strawberries of course are like many fruits they're great for digestion. They help boost your immune system. Strawberries also help burn stored fat. They promote eye health. They reduce, they help to reduce inflammation. They help to lower depression and they also help to fight bad cholesterol. And of course, these are just a few. All the fruits and vegetables, they have countless of benefits, nutrients, vitamins that, you know, it's impossible to name them all. But I like to list a few of them here for you just so that you can get an idea of what fruit benefits more for what. Now let's go ahead and get into the ingredients of this smoothie. First we're going to start off with four bananas. Make sure that the bananas are ripe and you can tell that the bananas are ripe by when they have spots on them. If they do not have spots on them and they're yellow or even green then they are not good for you to eat. If you do eat them like that in that stage, then they will give you an upset stomach and even con you might even get constipated. Peel the bananas, put them in the blender, then we're going to add two cups of strawberries, then I'm going to add two cups of water, and of course you can add as much water as you want or add less depending on how thick you want your smoothie. Then we're going to add three dates. If your dates are already kind of squishy and they're pretty good, then you can add the dates like that or if your dates are more on the dry side you might want to you might want to soak them in water for about an hour or two to make them more soft. Then we're going to add mint. We're going to add like just a few leaves of mint. Here I'm going to add only three leaves of mint. Then once you add the mints just go ahead and blend everything together until you get it as smooth as you want the smoothie to get. Once you finish making your smoothie, pour it in a mason jar and what you can do is sprinkle some chia seeds. I like to sprinkle about half a teaspoon or a tablespoon of chia seeds. And then once you put the chia seeds on there, mix, you know, mix the chia seeds in with the smoothie. Ch chia seeds are a great source of omega-3s. And I like putting chia seeds in my smoothies because they remind me to chew. Always remember to chew your smoothies because digestion starts in the mouth. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this smoothie. Don't forget to like and comment below and I will see you guys on the next video.